Hey, Johnny. Later tonight, my guests are going to be Richard Fryer, Super Dave Osborne, the music of Poco, and Svetlana Starodomskaya. We'll be with And on late night, Anchorman Tom Brokaw not only smiles, he laughs. Plus, part of the Velvet Underground, John Cale and Lou Reed. And Dave answers that voluminous viewer man. This is here tonight. He opens at the Resorts in Atlantic City tomorrow night, Friday, January 13th. Would you please welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rick. Uh, I, why, I slid, I slid. Oh, funniest monologue I've ever heard. You like heard that, you huh? many, many years. Yeah. Tonight was the funniest, so enjoy it. <laughs> you were really... Hey, I was you... in, in the green room. Well, we got a hundred. The two audience. of us, and, 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 and one waiter, and some black gentleman was standing there going, I'm just here to rob you. <laughs> and, uh, there was actually a black gentleman Yeah, back guy there just planning to rob I us. doubt that. Yeah, you doubt that, sure. But what do you know? <laughs> so what's new besides the competition? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I like competition. I know you. Yeah. When you're on 26 it years, I mean, you, where's the challenge? Gives you a charge. Yeah, well, what do gives you need you... a charge? 26 years, walk away, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 26 years, I sat with Ed the other night. He said, how long is he going to keep going like this? He's worried about that little tap dancer on Star Search. <laughs> Gloria Kowalczyk. <laughs> three, four, uh, 341, Gloria opens up at the palace in Encino Friday. <laughs> With a 341. <laughs> that show is annoying, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, he came up the hard way. You one day, that guy, Al Mancini, is that his name? I thought he was an Italian football player. <laughs> he came up, and you and your wife, you sit there, a four, a five, a force point six for a broad that throws a baton in the air and misses. <laughs> and then gets a job on this show. Well, he's down there that after 26 years, you reach. That's, anyway, why, that's why you're here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> you got it. Well, we get all we, one for the, That's right. We get all the old people. It's good to see you, though, John. Nice it's been a you. while. I, in fact, I was at the studio gate tonight. It really was. Sit back. You got the job. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> he's leaning forward like, is he going to leave, Johnny? Now is he going to leave? If he leaves, you got problems. Because I know. <laughs> Who's going to move all those beer cakes? <laughs> anyway. Uh, got a beautiful house now in Bel Air. <laughs> All the robbers went, Bel Air. <laughs> what can they take from your place? I was there. <laughs> a shot of champagne. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got to tell you, I went to, I went to the gate and I came in. The gate? Harry. What do you mean, the gate? Here. The gate? No, no. The gate at San Quentin. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with the you? When you're gate. on 26 years, I... you're starting to be like Reagan. Huh? <laughs> anyway, uh... That's why he's... That's why he's leaving office. He really? thinks it's helicopters. I, I don't know, Sam! <laughs> anyway, you're at the gate. I was at the gate, and I said, uh, I'm Don Rickles, and, and, and the Mexican people, please believe me, a lovable Mexican gentleman. But, you know, he wasn't a scientist. Yeah. And uh, he was by the gate, and I said, uh, I'm Don Rickles. What do you want? What do you want? I said, I'm doing the Tonight Show, and uh, this is my friend Harry. Harry Goins has been with me. Yeah. And he was a black man. That made him nervous. Yes, yes. And, uh, and we, we're in a Rolls Royce, an old Rolls Royce. It's an old one, you yeah. know. In fact, we had uh, Marion Davies' aunt in the back dead. <laughs> anyway, uh, and Eric von Stroenheim was running on the running board going, We want to go to the show. Uh, that's an old, that's an old Rolls. That's an old Rolls. Th thanks for jumping in at help. I just... <laughs> anyway, uh... I'd like to keep my hand in here. 26 years, he always got to jump in, so he was worried about his name on the sign that it don't fade. Sit back, sit back. I'll tell you this. So what did, what did, the, what did the old Mexican gentleman say? I get the feeling say? he's on an airplane and he found out the left engine's out. <laughs> so, so the guy at the gate said to me, you're, done, I, you're not on the card. I said, well, just phone the main gate. Hello, May, hello, main, main midway, main midway. The mayor Rickle, uh, Mr. Rickle, Rickle, come in, come in. And he stood there for 20 minutes and finally I had to get out of the car, put on a Mexican hat and rake his booth. Uh, 
Anyway, uh... And rake his boots. Rake his boots. I heard it. Hey, yeah. everything you say isn't a gem. You've proven yeah, that yeah. many times. <laughs> You try them on, folks. You don't, you don't take this stuff on hey, the road. Hey, this is a great audition. You do good. Here you get on Star Search. That's right. You can... A 3-2. A 3-7. A 4-6. We'll be... For Rose Kowalski. We'll do this. We'll come right back. No, we won't. <laughs> so, make these boots, huh? Look on with I, uh... What a clock you make here. Apparently, when I introduced you, I said you open tomorrow, Friday in resorts. You don't. You open a week from tomorrow. No, no, unless I go by rocket. <laughs> no, no I, I open Atlantic City a on week the, from On the 20th. Right. Okay. So you I don't didn't, have to worry about that anymore. I didn't want people to line up there for a whole week. Well, they, they do. They start yeah. to line up now. You know, <laughs> what's, it, if I'm, what's it cost to come in and see you now? Is it a pretty, pretty heavy tab? Uh, well, heavy by... I think it's fair. It's about $35 up front, and in the back, it's a, a buck and thank you. Ah... <laughs> uh, no, they have it, they range the theater yeah. from... Depending on where you sit. Where you, where you sit. And usually the people in the front are usually, the, you know, those kind of people. <laughs> and you throw food to them and they all go... Ah, destroy me! Call me an idiot! Ah. What's, the, what's the worst place you ever worked? I mean, when you were Here. just starting. Uh, no. No, uh, ah, boo. Here, here's hey, your hey. boo. <laughs> boo this, anyway, yeah, uh, boo this. Now, the worst place... That's an Italian expression for how's the family. <laughs> now, the worst place you ever worked well, when you were coming up. I don't like up. to say the worst place because oh, everything is relative. Well, when I started out, yeah. I, you know, there were tough places. Yeah. And when you made $200 a week, as you talk about Nebraska, you made $100 a week. Yeah. That was great. I didn't think, I thought, wow, to, to pick on people making 100 bucks a week, that's terrific. You go to a club day for $25. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did a guy called Sam Newgold. He's gone now. Yeah. Many years. And he used to take me by the window in New York. And used to go up to Connecticut, to these places, with about eight strip teasers and you. And all these girls come out with the pasties in those days, and that was wild, you know. know. And you always had the guy in the front going... <laughs> <laughs> you know, today they have no tops, they lean over and say, you want soup? And the guy goes, I'll take anything. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll, I'll take a bucket of water, whatever you got. Now, but in those days, that was, you know, that was unheard yeah. of. So when I worked up in, in those kind of places, I thought I was doing great. So I, I wouldn't say it's the worst place, but it, it was tough yeah. days, you know, because I said, you know, sir, you're a moron. And the guy would get up and go, could you, and the guy would get up and go, uh, repeat that again, please. Uh, who's a moron? It's a little humor, sir. <laughs> How about if I hurt your mother? <laughs> anyway, uh, and that my was mother was in the audience, and I used to take her in the car, and I never saw her again. That was, <laughs> anyway, that was before they knew what you were doing. Right. right. And, and, you know, so everything is relative. You ever, but been, I, you ever been punched? Once. Really? Yeah. No, well, a guy tried to in Montreal, but I always used to hang around and still hang around with people that are very kind. You yeah. know, kind of guys that go, <laughs> have little blowguns. Oh, I see. And, uh, no, I got my man, Harry Goins, that travels with yeah. me. He's not a kid anymore, but he moves fast. Yeah. When there's trouble, he tap dances. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> he's one of these black guys that say, trouble, he goes... Lullaby of Birdland. <laughs> and then they go away. But uh, I, I never have... Everything, when you started out, when you started out with your yeah. magic act, yeah. you know, I'm sure the whole crowd get up and said, you stink. Well, no, but, no, uh, no, no, they didn't. They did? No, I did a good act. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go along with it, to be honest. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm saying. Sure. In those days, it was tough. You know, you did yeah, uh, all tough. those... And it's everything... To the young comedians that are coming up today, they got the improv places, sure. the comedy stores. In our day, we didn't have that. Didn't you know? exist.